A new play opened this month in Atlanta at Emory University. It's a true story of murder, suicide, and the overthrow of a beloved leader, sort of modern dress Macbeth. The play is called Hominid, and 12 of its 14 actors portray chimpanzees. The bloody real-life incident took place at a scientific colony of chimps in the Netherlands. Franz de Waal, a leading primatologist, explains what happened. It's a pretty brutal story of power and coalitions. First is a defeat of Jeroen, who is deposed by a younger male, Luit. And then later, Luit himself is deposed by Jeroen, who has recruited a, an even younger male, Nicky. And they together not only depose Luit, but they murder him. Franz de Waal recounted the struggle between Jeroen and Laut in his book Chimpanzee Politics, and he advised Atlanta's out-of-hand theater as they adapted it for the stage. My name is Adam Fristo. In the production Hominid, I'm playing Laut. Facial expressions, gestures. We came across a film that was made of the chimpanzees that are in the story. Grooming. It shows this idyllic island. They're birds. The chimpanzees celebrate. They have a really good time. So we began to look for a parallel, a human parallel. And the thing that we came upon is the Idle Ridge. And let's switch to charm school manners. The notion of people who have the leisure, the time, and the resources to not worry about food, to look beautiful. Both of those societies, this captive chimpanzee colony and this version of the Idle Ridge, they're, they're extremely well cared for. Winter's children's and fair. I'm Carolyn Cook. I play the role of Mama, which I also play in real life. When the lights go up and characters first enter the stage, you're going to see beautiful people in tennis whites celebrating the beginning of spring, enjoying themselves, enjoying each other, hugging each other, jumping up and down. Greet the brightness of the day, hail the sweet breath of spring. Because we've chosen to not have a tremendous amount of language in the show, Everything pretty much has to be communicated physically. Simple physical dynamics change things in how I can use physical tactics, whether by making myself smaller or making myself bigger or being aggressive or being extremely still or diverting my eyes away from someone can dramatically change the way that we have an interaction. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. If you watch humans, you can, of course, see the same thing, is that if the boss uh, walks into the boardroom, so to speak, at a company, he walks in differently than the lowest-ranking clerk. He opens the door wide, and he has his chest out, and he takes the head of the table, and so there's all sorts of signals, which are nonverbal signals, of who is the boss. One of the challenges is finding the balance between the amount of chimp behavior and the amount of human behavior, or what we're calling charm school. The thing that I would fear uh, with a production like this is that you try to imitate chimpanzees, which is almost impossible because then you have to put suits on and drag your knuckles and make strange sounds and all of this. But if you don't show any of it at all or don't incorporate any of it, then there's not really any mystery and then we can't actually see into the parallels. Great, and from now on I'm going to ask you to use about an equal mix of chimp and charm school. What I find in playing Mama is there's absolutely no difference between the internals of this chimp character, who she loves, what she wants, what she needs, and the internals of a human old woman. When we read the Duval's account of chimpanzee politics, we're really struck by the same recognizable story that's there. So it seems like we're not really that unique after all. <laughs> it turns out that these essentially human Shakespeare stories are actually just essentially ape. Hominid, the play, finishes its run in Atlanta this weekend. Philip Greitzer produced our story.